Hey there guys, today I'm back with another brick in the wall of this goat project and you can see it right behind me. It is a rainwater harvesting system that feeds a little goat water down there at the bottom of the fence. So this is going to be a really simple video. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour of kind of how it works. It's really simple. I, I made a little first flush on it and I'll show you it at work and hopefully it'll inspire you on a similar type project and then I will close you out with, I don't know, some random thoughts. So when I said this thing is simple, it really is, and this is not gonna take a whole lot of time. So I'm just gonna start out first with the gutter and then work my way through the system and then on to this IBC tote and then to the little watering bucket down there. So the gutter was the original gutter that I had installed on this when the rain roof was installed at the previous location. And from the gutter, the water runs into this little elbow and I have a little screened uh, kind of homemade mesh cover over it just to keep big debris out. And once it goes in there, it is directed into this T and it falls down into this homemade first flush diverter. This is a four inch pipe and I have a little threaded cap at the bottom. And once that fills up, there's also a little uh, ball in there that will float up and seal this off so that hopefully all of the dirty debris and dirty water stays in there. And then the clean water just continues along there and on to the IBC tote. And then the IBC tote is just sitting on a homemade stand that I welded together and concreted in the ground and it is made of the same movie theater angle iron that I made pretty much everything you see in here with. And I think now what I'll do is just uh, show you some clips of it in action, and then maybe I'll talk a little bit further on how I made this first flush. And for those of you who might not have seen my most recent rainwater harvesting video where I talk about it, a first flush and kind of how it works, at the bottom of this first flush tube that holds the dirty water, is a little plastic ball and this ball floats up this pipe and gets caught in that necked down section of the PVC to hopefully keep the dirty water and silty water from intermingling with the hopefully pretty clean water that's coming in afterwards. And there's also a little hole in this cap so that the water slowly drains out so the system kind of resets itself as well as not having a bunch of uh, heavy water sitting in this pipe for long periods of time. I got to talk about the watering setup. This is a nine gallon galvanized water tub from Tractor Supply and I have set it up with an automatic livestock water float valve. So this fills it up with water and there's a little plastic float underneath here that as the water level rises it seals off the incoming water which goes through this PVC pipe into the ground and then back to the IBC tote where obviously the water supply is started from. So I'm gonna take some of this water out and I'll get the camera so you can kind of see how it fills up. And while these two are play fighting, I also wanted to point out that I'm in the process of moving my feeder underneath this uh, shaded area from the one you saw me do uh, just a few videos ago.
Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, well I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I know it was a little bit shorter than uh, a lot of my more recent videos, but uh, you know, perhaps that's a good thing for some of you guys. Uh, the next part of this uh, hay barn, you know, bigger goat project is going to be installing that barn door, uh, getting the hay in there, and then eventually building a fence around there for a little buckling yard or I don't know, whatever else we figure out. I think I mentioned uh, Marley wants to do a milking parlor, uh, things of that sort. And also I want to point out if you guys uh, noticed my hat, this is new. Uh, this was a gift from my friend Mike of Colored Red Leather Goods. I'll give you a little bit closer view of it. Um, anyway, he's got a nice uh, leather um, etched, like a laser printed uh, logo of my logo on a leather patch sewn onto the hat. He makes wallets and all sorts of other leather goods. So I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check his stuff out. And uh, I think for the rest of this, I have a prickly pear syrup adult beverage that I'm going to finish as I'm hanging out with the goats. And you can see Belle is, or you can hear her, she's getting a little bit uh, vocal because it is about her milking time. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, remember, you can check my content out on Rumble and Odyssey, and I will see you next time.